Trent, just as a Pullman native, someone that played here, uh, has been around the Pac-12 your whole life, what are your thoughts on what the conference has kind of become? <laughs> a lot, but nothing. I mean, nothing we can worry about. We got a Pac-12 season this year, and our focus is on winning the Pac-12 championship. And, and then after that, we'll see what happens. But to try to speculate and do all that would be pointless. What would it take for this defense to be as good as a year ago? Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's younger guys stepping up. I think we got a good nucleus of guys that have played a lot, but there's some new guys in key positions. You know, the Will linebacker position, the corner position that, that have the ability, as much as ability as last year, but it's, it's can they be as disciplined, be as confident, play as fast as they did last year? That's really it. Speaking of the younger talent, Josiah has been playing pretty well over these last couple of days, got himself a pick, had some nice deflections. What have you thought about his performance and his improvement from year one to year two? Yeah, I think he's improved a ton. Um, I think what's, what's exciting about this fall camp, if you're a player, is there's probably this is the most competition we've had in a long time for open positions. You know, there's no more Jaden Grants that have been four-year starters, no you know, Omars that have been three, four-year starters. So there's a, I think that that can be a really good thing in camp where guys feel they have an opportunity to make a push to play that haven't played as much. What do you feel like are the strengths of your cornerback group? I think they're long. I, I think they can run. Um, I, I think those are two really good things that we, we kind of had for the last couple of years, kind of like Ray and Alex. They can move, they can run, and they're long, which helps them. You know, if they're a step behind that length, you know, makes the quarterback have to put a little bit more air on the ball, which allows time for recovery. So those those would probably be the two. How has the improvements kind of in the spring and the offense challenged your defense heading into fall camp? Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, the – the quarterback position at, at all three, one, twos, threes, it's, it, they're going against a great quarterback. <laughs> and, and just across the board, the O-line, um, the running backs, it's, it's I, I have always said, I said it last year, I'll say it again, our toughest competition is every day in practice. From a scheme standpoint and everything that our offense does, but to also a talent standpoint. What about your defensive line? I mean, again, over the last couple of days, they seem faster, they seem stronger. They've been getting, it seems like, every day pressure into the backfield. And Isaac Hodgins even had a pick a couple of days ago on the defensive line. What, what are you seeing from your front? I like where our front's at. I, I thought they had a great spring. They had a great summer. And, and looking forward to them continuing to get better as fall camp goes along, especially there's a couple young guys that are, that are probably going to help us. And uh, looking forward to seeing how they continue to grow. Who are those what? young guys you're kind of talking of? You know, just I'm off the top of my head, you get, you know, guys that were here in the spring, first off, you know, with Thomas Collins, Kelsey Howard, you know, just off the top of my head, those two guys come to mind because they were here in spring and had a good spring and now have a real chance in fall camp to make a push. What, what is the process of working Alton back into action here? That's really, you know, it, we're, we're waiting for him to get cleared by the trainers. And once he does, then we'll, then we'll gradually build him in as based on what they say is appropriate. There's clearing to be done. On, yeah. yeah. Okay. With all the changes of the defensive back group, what does it mean having someone like Katan back there still? Yeah, that, that's huge because he, he adds a lot of experience playing. Um, and just having him and Akili. Akili's played a lot of football for us too. So having those two back, helping those new faces and young guys, I think is huge for us. For you, how is the challenge different than a year ago? Oh, I think it's a new challenge every year. I think, you know, the, the challenge is going to be, you know, how do, we, how do we tweak ourselves a little bit so, you know, we're a little bit, we have some new wrinkles to what we had last year, right? People are going to watch us from last year, start trying to really focus on attacking us, and our offense is doing it now, which is great. So how can we add wrinkles to our coverages, to our fronts, to what we do to, to have some curveballs for those guys? What do you think you guys can still do to improve defensively? You obviously had a great season last year defensively. How do you, how do you improve upon that? I think, I think we're looking really, it's kind of like a new slate. We're not concerned about last year or improving on last year. It's about, it's about what, how good can this defense be? Um, so not a comparison. It's really going to be can we hold the team we're playing to one, one less point than we have? And if we can do that, then we're going to be happy. What have you seen from Easton over the course of the off season and you know spring? He didn't really do a lot in the spring, but what have you seen from him over, from a year ago that he's that he's made? He, he's he's really been impressive so far. Like the first half of spring when he practiced, and then to now. I mean, just night and day. His physically, he's he's, he's heavier. He's moving better at that heavier weight, and then just he's he's got so much energy and speed, and he's smart. He can make all the calls and communicate. Just when he's in, you can really tell a difference when he's in right now mm -hmm. three quarterbacks that can really sling it down the field I mean how much does that challenge your defense this it's this great because you look at our conference this year and who we're going to play it every game is going to be that way starting with the first one you know so it, it's a great challenge for guys that can can throw great deep balls and and challenge us vertically because we need to keep the ball from being thrown over our heads so it's great to see it every day and work it every day knowing how competitive uh, that aspect is and facing just the 
conference of quarterbacks really this season. Do you feel like there's the downfield ball and the ability to throw is going to be what your defense has to kind of key in on every game, or is there any other parts? Yeah, no, I, I think that, that same as it's, it's been since we got together is, is make the ball be thrown in front of us, make them put drives together, and we'll, we'll have a chance to take the ball away. We keep making them snap it again, so that's kind of always been our motto. Coach, the goal is obviously to win a Pac-12 champion. Obviously, I think the ultimate goal is to make the playoffs, but knowing that this is going to be the last season in the Pac-12, as we know, is there a little extra motivation to, to get the job done this season and to, to take home a Pac-12 championship for you guys? Uh, I don't think so. I think the, the motivation to win a championship is enough. I, I don't think whether it's the last year, or first year, or, you know, whatever. Um, I think the what we got in front of us is certain, the season, um, this conference, and then and then that's our focus right now. We can't do anything about anything else that happens, so our focus is on what's going to happen right now for sure. It seems like in last year's fall camp, there was a little bit more vengeance in the team. Like players were coming back because they wanted to prove that they were better than just making it to the bowl. They wanted to win a bowl. Yep. And after last season, getting – you know, 10 wins and a bowl victory. Do you feel a sense of confidence more so from the defense this fall camp than maybe last year? Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's very similar. You know, we, we 10 wins, bowl win against a good SEC team. But but at the same time, yeah, let, let's take the next step. They're not satisfied with where we were at last year. They're not satisfied in winning 10 wins again. We want to win 11 or 12. So that, that's how their mindset is, which is great. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.